Okay, I'm coming to you with the news of Rusty Star's passing. I'm pretty sure you've probably heard about it. If you're familiar with with Rusty Star, Rusty Star was a spiritual warfare general. He taught on spiritual warfare and how to know how to use the basically full armor of God. Uh, he's fantastic. In fact, I have a link that will inspire you. He left us with good information. He left us with God's instructions. He was a champion for children escaping human trafficking. He was a hero to human trafficking altogether. He worked with love to put a stop to pedophilia and the raping of children. And I know firsthand, I wrote letters to him. I watched his programs. I was so proud to be able to be a part of some of those programs. Uh, and I say that sincerely. I've donated to their programs. I, I know, I know when I heard the news, how heartbroken I was. I was in foster care. And prior to foster care, we had a situation similar to what Rusta's daughter encountered on a regular basis with human tra trafficking of children. We escaped. And I wrote a letter. And I told them our story. Now, how they responded was they just went after them more. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm crying. I'm so, I'm so touched by the work that they did because it personally touched my life. And I have lost a caseworker. In 2002, who did the same thing. She was our personal hero. And it's a big loss. It's one that's going to take some time. I don't know how much time we have here. As far as I'm concerned, the Lord could come today. You know, it would be on a regular day. I know I've been listening to a lot of the watchmen and they keep bringing up feast days and Enoch and all these things. And it doesn't say that in the Bible. It says it, it, one will be taken from the field, the other left. One will be taken from the mill, the other left. That sounds like a regular work day. It doesn't sound like a feast day at all. Okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm kind of like split on this. I know that a lot of people, I'm sorry to, to have split off on this, um, talking about Brother Distar, but I, I want you to know a lot of watchmen, excuse me, a lot of watchmen have been going about talking about feast days and I, 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 I'm not fixated on feast days. I'm saying it can happen on a regular day. And that's what it sounds like to me is that um, it'll be a regular work day when you're, you're not paying attention. And that's why the Lord said, I come like a thief in the night. So you should watch. And we should be watching for some specific things. And the signs have already appeared. So I... 
not all the signs, by the way, just just most of the signs have already appeared. Uh, revelations of Matthew 24 and, and Luke. Um, we're getting close. I think they count, let's just say, on October 31st if they sign that. I'm not saying if. They probably will be signing that covenant of money. Um, some say it's Abraham Accords. I think it's probably going to be both Abraham Accords and Laodicea. Um, a lot of people don't do their homework, so I'm just going to tell you there's a lot of people that just are not filling in the gaps, and we're trying to fill in the gaps here. we got to bridge some of this, but I think both those documents are relevant. I think that all of it combined will bring about this new covenant of many, which is not new, because it's not new, because according to Daniel 9.27. And I've repeatedly said this before, so it's not, some of you might say, hey, she's repeatedly said this, but it's not me. I'm just saying that I'm really... I could see it being a watch day. Don't get me wrong. But every day right now is a watch day. Okay. Like we really do need to not be um, overcome by distractions. Okay. Like the Lord said, I will come like a thief in the night. He will. He will come and it will happen suddenly. This is not going to be a mishmash of events. It will happen suddenly. So that said a lot to me. Those words mean something. When he says, I'm coming suddenly, I'm going to come like a thief in the night. When you are least expecting, one, I'm going to take somebody from the field, one left. I'm going to take somebody from the mill, one left. He's going to come, he's going to take his people, and he's leaving. It's that simple. So, you said a lot, but leaving it off there, the loss of Rush Dizdar was huge. So, I just believe we are just inches to where we know we are going back to be with the Lord any moment. Any moment any moment and I don't know what that moment will be like it'll be a twinkling in an eye as a lot of people say it's a twinkle in the eyes like milliseconds <laughs> I don't know there's a mathematical equation for that but I better log off here because uh, it's hard to load up these videos please and um, if you have a chance there's a link below with a lot of uh, good valuable information about the Rusta Star's Spiritual Warfare uh, Conference, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Rest in peace, Rusta Star.